Okay. So this is the Goal S. Um, what I hadn't appreciated, because uh, I'd never seen them side by side before, um, is the, the, how tiny the keyway is uh, on this. So if you look at that compared with uh, the Goal P there, um, it's more like a, a padlock size core. Um, so let's just pop that key in. Let's spin over a uh, quick look at that bit in again. Uh, even though it's a really low one in uh, one, still needs picking. So all five pins are active in this lock. And uh, let's see how we get on. So a really nice light gentle tension. Couple of clicks on five. Up the clicks on a three. Couple of clicks and a two. So it should leave four. Couple of clicks and a four, so that should leave just the, uh, the little T pin type per key in one. Now, obviously, something else dropped. Okay, that was five. So let's try one again. And yet yeah, one gets us open. Just a little nudge on that. So another harrowing gutting to follow of this lock. The components are absolutely uh, tiny. Uh, let's take that off there. And just give the camera a twist. Take some of that zoom off. Um, okay, so there you go. Again, you can see that's moving open rather. You can, uh, oops, see the actuator's moving at the back. So just lock that up for the time being. And so I've forgotten this. Uh, there's a plate on the back that holds the core in. It's just held in by these two screws. Screws are always better if you take them all the way out. Just catch it on something. Okay. Um, then that plate just comes off. Uh, then the core just removes. Uh, so there you go. It's a tiny, tiny little core. Uh, I've got uh, just as for a sense of scale, that's a, a normal. Uh, Euro core, that's a, a mower that came in the post from the Welsh lock picker today. Uh, thanks, Richard. Um, so it gives you a scale of, of how you're working on. But let's have a look through this uh, around this core. I don't know what these are, are used for, um, Japan, but uh, it, it really is very small to be a, a domestic lock. Uh, it's just, again, just some sort of pressed steel, even though it's sort of, sort of quite nice quality. Um, okay, so gutting these is a little bit different. Uh, as long as you're very careful, you don't need many specialist tools at all. Um, there's a plate on the top here of just sprung steel. Uh, so you very, very carefully just insert something and just lever that off. And do the same on the other side. Uh, 
making sure it doesn't spring away because obviously underneath there I'm just going to change this over because I need this in the middle of my uh, and then underneath there that uh, just comes off and then you've got these five tiny springs Okay. And then we can drop everything out of the top. Of course, nothing's uh Playing ball. What you've got is these real sharp lipped. Okay. Just need to work out what the uh, orientation of these pins is in a minute but, uh, everything started falling out uh, so we've got three and since we've got no idea what's going on I'll just drop the uh, the other key pins out uh, in any random order uh, then there's one other thing in here so if you turn that core slightly, there's a little ball bearing. There. Okay. And then very carefully. Remove this uh, clip. Hopefully, just got it started enough there. Okay, and then the core can come out. So let's have a look at that core. Okay, so there you can see the uh, undercut that grabs hold of the, uh, the little sharp edge of these spools. So that just catches nicely on there. And inside there, you can see that the pin is hollow. Uh, where the spring sits inside. Um, so there we go. That's the goal S uh, and it's probably one of my favorite locks that I've got at the moment. Um, I actually prefer this to the uh, the goal P. Uh, really terrific little lock. Thanks a lot. To, again, lock junkie. Uh, let's get this put back together uh, and work out where everything goes again. Thanks for watching. Actually, sorry, should give you a close up of those pins. Uh, but bear in mind, all of those key pins just fell out, so I need to work out where they are. They're in completely the wrong order uh, for that key. Um, there you go. What have I just flicked? <laughs> oh, what a terrible day. Uh, okay, I'm going to. Uh, Panic quietly off camera.